Okay, we're going to talk about binomial expansion. No, not westward expansion. So we're going to look at this x plus 1 and the third. And what this means is we look at the exponents of x and y. And by that, notice, I'm going to put all these numbers up here. The x, what is the exponent here? 3. So that's our starting point. Meaning we're going to have 3 in each of these. And what this y means, how many y's are in the first one? There's no y's in the first one. There'll be 1 in the second, 2 in the third, and 3 in the third. That's what that particular thing means right there. So, and if we do our little trick here, 3, we'll have all th 3 of these minus 0. means I have a deal of 1. So if I have 3, I'm going to have the 3 1 time. All right, over 1. This time I'm going to have 3 times 2 and 2 times 1. Because remember, I'm going to have the 2 numbers there. And on this one, I'm going to have all 3 numbers, 1, 2, and 3. And the 3 factorial right there. But they're just going to cancel out, giving me... One. So what that means is x plus 1 to the third equals 1x cubed, all right, plus what do we have here? Our number was what? 3x squared times the 1, all right, and here we're going to have that 3 times 1x plus times the 1 squared, because that's the last number that factored, and then on the last one, we're going to have this 1, because that's the coefficient. There's no x's. And so then we have the last term, 1 cubed. And if I multiply those out, we end up with this. 3x cubed plus 3x squared plus 3x plus 1. Now that was an expansion with a 3 in it.